Today we look at the history of Mr. Krabs. Am I really gonna defile this grave for money? Of course I am! To understand the rich history of the Krabs family, we must go back millions and millions of years to where it all began. Meet prehistoric crabs, the earliest known members of the Krabs family. Although miniature, they share the same eye shape as Mr. Krabs, but have big black bushy eyebrows. They also share his big meaty claws. It is here where the Krabs family begins to develop language with one important word that will be passed down for generations to come. Money, 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 money. That's right, money. Fast forward millions of years to medieval times where we find the next recorded member of the Krabs family, King Krabs. Hey, Mr. Krabs. How dare you bark at me in that toad, knave? I am the feared ruler of this kingdom and will be addressed as such. Sorry. As you can see, this crab closely resembles Mr. Krabs. He wears a light blue shirt, dark blue pants, a king's mantle, and a crown. King Krabs has a whale daughter, Princess Pearl. She is almost identical to Mr. Krabs' daughter, Pearl. Huh, they both had whale daughters. What are the chances? All right, y'all. Now we head into the Wild West for the next ancestor in the Krabs family, William Krabs, owner of the Krusty Cantina. William wears Western style overalls with yellow buttons, a blue long sleeve shirt, a green tie, and dark blue pants without a belt. Unlike his ancestors, William Krabs was a rare member of the family who was broke. That was until SpongeBob SquarePants came to town and helped him get his money back. Step right up, everyone! Just a dollar to stop on old Jedi Plankton! Many generations of crabs down the line, we get to Great Great Grandpa Krabs. Great Great Grandpa Krabs! Return to us, I beseech thee! Ah, you're older than they are! Kick him out! The oldest living member of Mr. Krabs' family is Great Grandpappy Krabs. Now, out with the old, and in with the even older! Right, Great Grandpappy Krabs? <laughs> he is a very elderly crab with light pink skin and the same clothes as his great grandson Eugene. His right eye has a white pupil, and he has to use a wheelchair to move around. And if you were thinking that wheelchair looked familiar, it's because it does. It's the same chair Mary's mother uses when she buys chocolate. Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. I always hated it. Great Grandpappy and his wife had two kids. A daughter, Sally, who we have no photo evidence of, but we know her because of the Flying Dutchman. Your Aunt Sally doesn't wear Paul's teeth. How do you know? Because I dated her in high school. <gasps> no! And they had a son. Mr. Krabs' grandfather, Redbeard Krabs. <laughs> Grandpa Redbeard is an old pirate with a large gray beard and an eye patch over his right eye. You done good, boy old. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. Redbeard marries Mr. Krabs' grandmother, whose picture is in Mr. Krabs' wallet. Ah, uh, relax. That's what my grandma's dentures are made of. Together they have a son, Victor Krabs, Mr. Krabs' father. This here is me father. And he is older than you. So you best respect what he has to say. He has a large bushy gray mustache and wears a turtleneck sweater, a white shirt, and dark blue pants without a belt. Victor married Betsy. Well, hello there. And together they became parents to Eugene H. Krabs, more commonly known as Mr. Krabs. Be boo boo bop. Boo boo. Mr. Krabs dresses in his iconic light blue shirt and slacks with a black belt. He's obsessed with his money. I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars in cash for said hat. Uh. And making his daughter Pearl happy. Daddy, get what? As long as it doesn't involve his no money. <laughs> I have no idea, Pearly. Pearl is somehow a whale, but that's for another video. Mr. Krabs has a sister who we have yet to see, but after deductive reasoning, we can assume she would look something like this. <laughs> Mr. Krabs' sister has triplets. I even turned down me own three adorable nephews. My uncle Krabs! All three of them look exactly like their uncle, Mr. Krabs, except they are much younger and smaller, having shorter noses and don't have an undershirt and a belt. So... There you have it, folks, all known members of the Krabs family. Join us next time as we discover the interesting ancestry in yet another chapter of Nickelodeon's history on Nick Family Tree.
Yar, love all things SpongeBob? Like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss a new video here on the SpongeBob official YouTube channel. Yar.